Hi, I'm Willie, and this is my electric bike build log. I chose a hardtail specialized bike to start off with. It had an aluminum frame and a Bafang 8 Fun mid drive motor kit for the power. And here it is in action. You can see the mid drive motor by the crankshaft, and the batteries are in the gray panel. The parts came in two boxes, the battery and some miscellaneous parts in the first box, the charger and the motor in the second box. The bike uses special brakes so that it knows when you're braking, and it has an optional thumb throttle so you can gas it like a mountain bike. I chose not to use the thumb throttle. The plan is to fit the batteries inside the frame, and the problem is that the frame's only an inch wide and the batteries are going to be three inches wide. So I'm building some wood panels to screw onto the frame to make it wider. I traced everything out on a 2x12 board. I'm not sure if that was better or if I should have used plywood. I didn't want to modify the frame because I wanted to make a video that anybody could do. But I traced it on the wood, cut it out with my jigsaw. I chose to use the bike with a small frame because I wanted the bike to have a smaller profile. Having a bike with a big triangle covered in plastic would look obvious and heavy when it was done. I wanted it to look light and slim. The wood was pretty easy to cut out. I modeled everything up in CAD program before I purchased the parts. I wanted to make sure that I picked a battery that would fit inside the triangle, but I didn't know how the cells were oriented in the battery. I looked out and the battery fit pretty well. I used the CAD model to know how everything would look. When the battery finally arrived, I could open the casing and had to re-solder it. The batteries actually look pretty clean. The battery I chose was a 50 volt, 9.5 hour lithium ion battery. Now, I chose a lithium ion battery so it would be smaller, but the lithium ion batteries are much more complicated to work with. The battery had 50 cells in it, and they were in banks of 5. So, it's 5 cells run in series with another five cells, run in series with another five cells, and so on. I had to cut apart the batteries so that I could move one bank of batteries to another part of the triangle so that the battery pack would no longer be square, it would be a triangle. I found the best way to cut apart the battery was to use the drill mill, cut the metal plates, and then use fishing line to cut between the batteries to get the silicone out. The silicone was really easy to cut with fishing line. This is basically what they would look like. I cut off the bank of the battery, and then I move it to another part of the battery. The bike still had a lot of disassembly to go. You had to take the whole crankshaft off to fit the mid-drive motor in the spot. After a lot of reworking, I got the panels to fit almost perfectly with the frame. Here I am finishing up the battery pack. It took me all day to finish the pack. But when it was done, it was worth it. And here it is. I got the batteries soldered together. And I wrapped them with duct tape and plastic. After they were done, I fit them inside the triangle and they fit perfect. The 
test fit with the batteries, test fit with the panels, resanding the panels, painting the panels, and cutting out the polystyrene, and the bike was almost ready to go. And here it is. Batteries inside the frame, panels on the frame, mid-drive kit attached to the bike, pedals attached to the mid-drive kit. The cracks in the frame are held together with Bondo. More sanding for me, but when it was done, it looked really clean. I'm going to paint a logo on the triangle later. And off with the tape and the bike's about done. And here it is. Mid drive kit attached to the crankshaft, batteries inside the gray triangle. I can still use the rear gears to shift. So it's hard to show how the bike works. But it's a pedal assist bike, so it knows when I'm pedaling, and then it motors when I'm pedaling. It has adjustable power shift levels between no power and full power, and I can still use the rear gears for shifting. Since it's a mountain bike, I can use the rear gears to shift down when I'm going uphill, or I can shift up to go fast down the hill. <laughs>